Have you checked out Monday's podcast? Episode 33 was released. We'll talk about that. Two cases we need your help with and some announcements. Let's get into it. Hello, happy Wednesday, happy hump day. It's the middle of the week. Steve Stone here, host of the Grim Tooth Podcast. Um, on Monday, we released episode 33, Finding Jane Mutter. And um, this is a case that pretty much it, um, where the leads have stalled out, the cops have checked out, and this family, you know, whether the cops have uh, are, are doing anything or not, they still need to find their loved one. So um, episode 33, Finding Jane Mutter, she went missing from uh, Cascade, Colorado. And we need your help. We need somebody um, that either has seen Jane or knew Jane um, that might shed some light on what happened to her, where she is. Um, again, we go into detail about the people she was living with at the time. So uh, please, if you haven't done so, check out episode 33, Finding Jane Mutter. Uh, and, and while you're there checking that out, if you haven't done so already and you want to help uh, find the missing, if you're into the 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 genre of true crime and you you're you're fascinated your fascination can probably help a family so please subscribe to the grim truth podcast youtube channel hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode of the grim truth podcast or anything related to the missing and the murdered uh leave us a like comment share it helps get our videos to a broader audience and um that's our goal uh the goal is about the missing we are the voice for the voiceless and the media for the missing so that would be a great comment. Let us know uh, what your views on the case are. If you have questions, get involved. We want to build a community here. And we've done so on Facebook. We want to do so on YouTube. So check that out. On Monday, episode 34, Brent's Army. We're going to talk about the case of Brent Garcia, who went missing from Sumter County, South Carolina, on December the 26, 2020. Now, um, we really can't get into the details of the case uh, for some specific reasons. We are going to talk about the the fact that the the family in the community has taken Brent's missing persons case and turned it into uh, a positive by uh, doing things out in the community, um, doing things um, such as shoe drives and other things. We're gonna we're gonna talk about that though. But I do want to mention a couple of things about Brent's case. Is that it's. I have wanted to cover Brent's case for uh, since, uh, I guess, late spring of last year. And I understand that the family, there's a lot going on in that case. But while I was prepping for the talk about Brent's, uh, you know, Brent, Brent's army and, and the things they're doing, information came to me um, via email from an anonymous source. And... Um, I think it, the one thing I don't like to do is, um, not bring things up that might help a case and work, you know, to sit on something and, you know, it's been weighing heavily on me. So, um, there is some information on Brett's case I am going to talk about and, um, I, I think it's important to discuss it. And so we are going to get into that a little bit as well. That's going to be episode 34, Brent's Army, on Monday. So uh, that will also be uh, Monday on the Grim Truth Podcast YouTube channel. So check that out. Um, a case that we discussed um, a couple of months ago, a case I've been following, missing persons case I've been following. I, I just talked to um, Ashley's mom. Ashley Nicole Moreland went missing from Texarkana on February the 11th of this year. Um, and she... She disappeared in a bad part of town. Uh, I have uh, I talked to her mom. I think it was the day before yesterday. I reached out to her via text message. Um, they haven't found her. She's still missing. Um, and and they need your help. Um, she went missing on a Friday. Um, and she was seen at a mission. She has no ID. Um, she didn't have any warm clothes at the time she disappeared. No phone. And... Um, the family had to wait a long time. They had to wait forty-eight hours, which I want to. I want to say this, uh, and, and and 
I'll reiterate this every time. You don't have to wait any amount of time to report a person missing. There's no law. There's no state law. There's no county ordinance. There's no federal law. If you believe something is amiss, if you believe you have a friend or a loved one that you have not been in contact with, uh, you have every right to contact law enforcement, get them involved. And I urge everyone to do so. Um, don't wait. And you know what? And, 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 you know, I tell people this all the time, and I'll, I, I'll say this again. Um, if a person that you're concerned about, you haven't had contact with them, and the cops think it's a waste of time, but they end up finding the person, you probably prevented a tragedy from happening. And it's, it's vitally important that we try to get law enforcement to understand this. But in the meantime, don't wait. Don't think, oh, man, uh, I'll, I'll wait another hour. Wait, no, no, don't wait. Report them missing and get the ball rolling because time is of the essence. Um, you, you've, you've heard this on TV shows, I'm sure, but it's a fact. The first 48 hours are important in any missing persons case. Um, and it, if you think something's wrong, see something, say something, you report it, and, and you get on the ball. Do not wait. Don't hesitate. Get it done. So, again, we're, we're trying to find Ashley Nicole Moreland. Uh, anybody, uh, we have a wonderful group in Texas. Uh, we have a lot of uh, followers um, that uh, watch us over there in Texas. So, if you can please share this uh, flyer. Uh, I'll put it on the Groom Truth Podcast Facebook page. Share this flyer. Get it out there. And... Um, Hopefully we can bring Ashley home. Arkansas. I, I don't know what's going on in Arkansas, but I, I, I don't. I just. I. I'm a loss for for the lack of empathy, care. It's like it's the wild west out there. Um. Arkansas has troubles. There's no doubt about it. Um, with the Andrew Deweese case, um, I'm working on the Ashton Blake Campbell case. Um, there is so many other cases that I'm working on uh, in Arkansas and ones that are pending. I, I, I don't know what's going on. And the, another case I want to talk about real quick is that of um, this gentleman here, Thomas Carroll Hines. Thomas Carroll Hines uh, went missing on September the 14th, 2021. Um, he's an endangered individual. He suffers from dementia. Uh, if you see this man, he needs medical attention. The problem that I'm having with Thomas's case, and um, we've we've interviewed the family, we've interviewed people. Uh, my wonderful um, volunteer has been helping with this case. This this is a case that makes no sense to me. He he's an elderly gentleman. He, he definitely qualifies for a silver alert, and no silver alert has been put out for him. Now, I, I'm going to be contacting uh, the Benton Police Department. I'm also going to reach out to the state and, and, and the state police. A silver alert should have been issued for this man a long time ago, um, and we're, we're going on a year. We'll be go, we're, 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 we're close to a year this man has been missing, um, and... There, there's other things going on uh, with this case as far as in the background that we're going to get to in an upcoming episode here in a couple of weeks. But in the meantime, I need your help sharing this man's flyer um, and getting the, the word out there. We also have a huge following in Arkansas. So please, if you have seen Thomas Carroll Hines or you have any information about this man, please contact uh, the Benton Police Department at 501-776-5957. Again, 501-776-5957. As always, if you need to, you can remain anonymous. But, but I mean, I do not understand. I'm going to leave this picture up here for just a couple more seconds. I, I just don't understand what the hell is going on um, with what's in Arkansas. It's just like nobody gives a shit about these missing people. And, and it's not just this case. I mean... We have so many other cases in Arkansas. <laughs> Andrew Deweese, um, uh, the Ashton Blake Campbell story that we're going to be covering here in a couple of weeks. Um, there's there's others. 
we have the Eric Lane case. Um, and then there's another one that I'm looking into right now um, that we're going to have people working on. And that's going to um, Savannah Elliott. She was found deceased in a, uh, a nature preserve. So, again, I, I don't know what's going on in Arkansas, but this is something that we're going to be looking into. Uh, and we're, we're probably going to be doing a special uh, just specifically talking about Arkansas and what's going on. And we're, we need to do a petition. I'm working on a petition to send to Asia, Asa Hutchinson, the governor of Arkansas. They need to clamp down on what's going on. There is police corruption in Arkansas. There's a lot of stuff going on, and it is just not good. And there's too many young people going missing. There's too many people going missing in general. There's too many murders going on. They have a huge meth problem, gang problem, and it, and it needs to... It needs to be looked into. So those are things we're going on to. But again, Thomas Carroll Hines, if you've seen him, he is endangered. He does suffer from dementia. He will need medical attention if you if you locate him. Um, and we need your help. So please, if you see this man, contact Benton Police Department, 501-776-5957. Our, our last um, uh, announcement today is... Um, a year ago, a, year, a little bit over a year ago, a year and five months, when I started this podcast, I um, we, we were strictly audio, and I made the decision halfway through last year uh, to go ahead and start doing things on YouTube. And season one of the Group Truth Podcast is still audio. Uh, you can still go wherever you get your podcast, whether it be uh, Apple Podcasts, Budsprout, Spotify, iHeart, Pandora, wherever you get your podcasts, you can listen to ep- uh, season one. But uh, to make an announcement today, episode one will, or I'm sorry, season one will be coming to YouTube uh, in a couple of weeks. We will gradually be adding um, episode one, so or season one, I'm sorry. So every episode of the Chris Sanders case, Andrew DeWeese, Will and April Polk, uh, Michael Hawley Jr., Little Joe Bain, um, every case we covered in season one, I know I'm missing many, many more, but all the other stories that we covered um, on season one will be on the Grinch Street Podcast YouTube channel um, starting next week. We'll gradually get them over there. Eventually, the uh, we're strictly just going to be on YouTube, the podcast thing. Eventually, we're going to be uh, weaning the podcast uh, for season one anyway. Uh, we're going to be weaning that down and everything's going to strictly be on YouTube. So um, it's something that um, I'm happy to do and, and get them over there. You can still, if you haven't checked any of those out, you're more than welcome to. Anywhere you get your, your podcast, you can check those out there. I will leave a link in the description below so you can do that. But we will be moving them to YouTube. I want to thank you very much for uh, watching this video and, and taking time to check out the channel today. Um, again, if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave us a like, comment, share. Let's be uh, a part of the solution and help the missing and the murdered because these families out there aren't getting the attention they deserve, and that's what we're trying to do. We're going to continue to be a voice for the voiceless and the media for the missing. Until next time, I'm Steve Stone, and we will talk to you later. Have a wonderful day.